Cheers. Cheers. Hello guys, it's currently Sunday morning and of course I migrated from upstairs in bed to downstairs where it's a little bit chilly this morning because it's so windy and it was I think raining a little bit and now it's just all sunny because the wind blew all of the clouds away. So this morning I was editing one video, I was trying to finish the massager video today and I have a workout class scheduled at 12. It's a 45 minute hit class. And after that, um, my plan was to film three to four videos and then maybe worked on a little bit of paper. I have a paper that's accepted. I know, I think I talked about it in my earlier vlogs, like on the results and then I revised it and now it said it's accepted with minor revision. So I need to revise some minor stuff and then some language issues as you may know english is not my first language so every time i write something there's always some language issues that even though i proofread 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 i just couldn't detect them and also good news one of my article or story was published on medium.com by a bigger publication in the ascent I'm very excited. Today was the day it was published in the publication. And I don't know, we'll, we'll see if it performs well. So if you also subscribe to median.com or if you are interested in writing blogs, feel free to follow me by Dr. Ming on medium.com. So essentially, medium.com is a website where you can write your blogs. Okay, I'm gonna show you. So basically, I found out about this blogging site from one of the YouTube videos and I was intrigued because I love writing, believe it or not. So I decided to create a profile and I started writing my blogs. I think I don't think I talked a lot about this blog on my YouTube channel, but here, this is the new story that was accepted in the publication the ascent and in this one i talked about how i coped with anti-asian hate because previously me and my husband definitely got some hate phone calls and some comments um so if you're interested in my opinion or perspectives there it is and, um, i also write things about personal finance um, money and workout so this one do you need more sleep after training i actually did a extensive research review and then i was summarizing some of the research i read about um sleep recovery after working out and this one is it too late to start your youtube channel so here i shared my experience with starting a YouTube channel, is it too late to start a channel in 2021? I also shared some of my stats here. And of course, personal finance. I become very intrigued about personal finance recently because I realized I was scammed by the pension retirement system. So here I started to be more aware of how I manage my money, my personal finance. I also write things about mindset, personal development, gratitude, things I'm interested in basically a lot of them are my personal stories uh, with some scientific facts. I'm a researcher so I love reading research articles as well so millionaire habits personal finance this one got an interview I think this one is very helpful but for some reason it didn't have many views maybe the publication I submitted to is not appropriate for this topic so maybe the audience from that publication didn't really care about this topic about getting ready for the interview um inter entrepreneurship i've been writing a lot sometimes i get really excited when my story is accepted and also the data-driven investor this publication actually reached out to me originally i thought this is probably one of the startup publication like a publication that is starting but then i went to their publication there are 50k, I think, subscribers, so I was like, wow. 
So if you're interested in investments, some personal finance tips, money tips, I also talked a lot about them. Six investments that changed my life. I felt like sometimes with words, I can really try to express my emotions a lot more than the videos because sometimes I get a little bit awkward while filming myself. Versus with words, I feel like I can really write from the bottom of my heart. And this one is about New Year resolutions. Something you may be interested: How much does a small YouTuber make? So I do、um, make some money from YouTube, but definitely not enough for a full-time job. So if you're curious about how much a small YouTuber makes, this could be one. For you, how to become an entrepreneur,、uh, my previous eating habits problems. I was obsessed with eating healthy, and it ended up ruining my health. So I wanted to share my experience, and of course, money tips. How to save money? I think I saved a lot of money during the quarantine, but after we reopened, I start to definitely spend way more money now. Things about personal development. Growth mindset, personal habits. <laughs> I wake up early, super early sometimes, but I soon understood that it's not ideal or optimal to wake up super early every single day. And this article actually explains why it may not be life changing for you. But overall, I do think by waking up a little bit earlier than usual, it gives me a more peaceful morning and I feel less anxiety. Here is my first article. Is a PhD degree really worth it? So, if you love、um, reading, if you love reading blogs, Medium.com is a great website where you can blog yourself or reading somebody else's perspectives. I definitely think that there are so many different perspectives and opinions to read, and I hope my new article do well. So. Feel free to follow me on Medium.com. Okay, so that is a little bit of my side hustle, and yeah, I try to do as much as possible when it comes to side hustle because I am a firm believer of entrepreneurship. I know I graduated with a PhD degree and then I got a full time job. It's like eight to five, but like in my deep deep heart, I want to be an entrepreneur. So. Any help, like you subscribing to my YouTube channel, you watching my videos, you reading my blogs, definitely help me out a ton. You have no idea how much every single view means to me, because it's not just about the sense; it's also about like having people being there support you as you are doubting yourself. So thank you so much for all your support. Okay, what time is it? Previously, I am going to a workout class. So today's class, I'm gonna do a hit training. So basically, it's alternating between weight. And cardio. I've been trying to do more cardio because I've been gaining a little bit of weight because you know I've been sitting. I hate going back to the office because you just sit for nine hours per day. It's not very healthy. I hate that sedentary lifestyle. I like to be active. I love to be like you know always on the go doing stuff. So definitely it's a little bit hard, and then I gain a lot of weight. So before we go, I just need to eat a protein bar. This is from the brand Zone Perfect, and it contains 14 grams of protein, and it's strawberry flavor. It's my favorite flavor. Okay, so nutrition facts. Only contains a little bit too much sugar, 16 grams of sugar, but only 14 grams of protein. But before a cardio workout, I definitely need a little bit of carbs, and also the fat content is not too much. Strawberry yogurt. It's definitely one of the best flavors out there when it comes to protein bars. Let's go workout.
just got home, I redid my makeup because it's filming day, so we gotta film some videos. Uh, I didn't vlog as soon as I came home because I was so hungry and I started binge eating this. Ta -da, this is so good. I know this is probably my guilty pleasure. This is a Trader Joe's almonds chocolate cashew track mix. So inside this bag, you have almonds, cashews, which are my favorite nuts, and dark chocolate. And I just couldn't stop eating them. They're just so good. It's a really great combination of savory and sweetness and everything. So, so much for low carb diets. There's chocolate in there, but that's okay. We work out to eat. We don't work out to lose weight. Although I do want to lose weight, but it's just hot, a little bit harder when you're snacking so much. So I was thinking about today, we're gonna film some review videos. We bought a bunch of stuff from Costco and Trader Joe's. I think, which one is it? Okay, let me see. It's this one. Ta-da! So previously we've been getting these steamed dumplings from Costco, but this time we got it from Trader Joe's. So I was thinking about filming a short video reviewing this. Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty easy. I think you just microwave them or you can heat it with stove top. Hmm, maybe we can heat it with stove top, but I need a steamer. So I'll see how it goes. Today I scheduled maybe four videos today. Hopefully we have time. And we're gonna, you know, film at the same time cook because we're doing food review videos. So it comes in handy because I can meal prep something for next week so I don't have to cook every single day. Big brain play. You film, you meal prep, you eat, and everything's good. So yeah, let's get started with filming. A mouthful of flavor, a burst of different texture and flavor and the meat sauce, the broth is so good and the ginger flavor though, so dope, so dope. The wrap though, it's not the perfect, perfect wrap but you know, it's a frozen item so wow. Hey guys, I just finished filming my first review video. It tasted so freaking good. So freaking good. I think I will post this vlog maybe after the review, maybe before the review, I don't know, but so good, so good. Highly, highly, highly recommend. So I filmed a review and I will put a little clip right here to show you how good it is. And now I'm going to film another review videos because previously we reviewed a massage gun and another massage gun um, seller, they were like, do you want to try our product as well? I was like, yeah. So we're gonna film another massage gun review. So um, this one looks pretty good. It says Bondier R2 Relieve and Recover. So we're gonna try this out by We I mean Me. My husband is out there in a bowling alley supporting his cousin Christopher's high school bowling team. Go Apache! I think they won the team and they're bowling singles. So my prayers will go to them. Hopefully he wins. Uh, it's so exciting when you see a kid doing sports and trying the hardest they could and showing that like do the work and get the results so definitely he's there supporting them so I guess I will film this review by myself so
Some of the old songs. Yes, ma'am. I filmed three videos today and I felt pretty tired from all of the filming so we're gonna take a break I had to take a second to lay down and just to whew, increase my blood flow because I was sitting for just too long and now the next thing is it's currently 5 30 so I'm going to prepare for the next week because it's Sunday so I need to prepare all of the workout clothes so this is what I do just to save some time from every day on every Sunday I will try to pick out my workout outfits for the next week this is a shirt that I could wear tomorrow okay, just keep the shorts that go with it because this one is a yoga clothes I can wear the yoga clothes I know I'm a little bit everywhere this one be mindful or something like that yeah, so that will go with the first one. It comes with the insole. Okay, I got this from a friend. Okay, so we have four outfits, and then we're gonna put them into my car. We won't have to worry about prepping my outfits. And we're gonna put in my car. And the best part is, I'm thinking about going to get boba. Yeah, boba tea, boba tea, boba tea. I need, I definitely need to reward myself. I'm also craving a little bit of sugar, maybe some hot boba. Okay, so let's go get some. I'm gonna stream afterwards, hopefully. Okay, so let's put in my car. Let's go get some boba. Support Asian businesses. Let's go. Ooh Looks amazing. I got the hot drinks just because, you know, I think my stomach will appreciate that. We got the mango green tea, no sugar. The milk. The milk cap tea. I think, oh, I think they gave you the wrong thing because. I think they give you the wrong thing because I thought I ordered the milk cap but they didn't give you the milk cap. Uh oh. I think they give you the wrong thing. That's okay. Uh, and then the oolong milk tea hot. So we got drinks for his mom and dad and we're gonna go to their house uh, to try to help with something with plants. Do manual labor. Oh, manual labor. <laughs> Why are we buying drinks and then we have to do the manual labor? <laughs> said you wanted drinks. Yeah, so this looks amazing, amazing. I like how they give you the to-go cups now. They used to just put it in a bag. Yeah, just, yeah. Nice little setup. Yeah, now it has like a to-go thing. Kung Fu tea, yeah. I haven't been there for a year. We've been ordering from RT, which is also great. But like, I think we would still go to RT if they still do the mobile order in advance or something, but I don't think they do it anymore. They do, they started it again. Oh, they started again. Oh, we could have gone, but it's no, okay it's next time. too far from our house though. Yeah, and I may stream a little bit later today, just so that I can stream twice a week. I used to stream like almost every single day because I used to have a lot of time. Now I spend one hour per day on driving to work. It's crazy. And I realized there's a new guy at work. He lives all the way 16 miles from Bernie's or whatever. Lives super, super, super far. I don't know. I don't, I don't like driving. I think if you enjoy driving, it's actually not that bad. But if you're like me who get a lot of anxiety from driving, it's definitely like I get the majority of the stress I get is from driving and also the noise in the cubicle farm. That's the majority of anxiety and stress come from. The actual work, I actually like to do the work. I just wish that I can work in a more solitary place where it's I can get a little piece of quiet. And sometimes like now when he has like TV on, 
I get anxiety. I was like, can you just shut up any noise or whatever? I just can't hear anything because you don't, you have no idea. Like from eight to five for nine hours of my day, I'm constantly hearing things. And then like, I can't deal with any more like sound or noise. I just need absolute quiet when I'm home. <laughs> which never happened like before he used to have things in the background I was just listening but now it's just definitely I start to overreact to noise because I have anxiety over it now mental health <sighs> okay let's go tomorrow's Monday I need to men mentally prepare myself uh it's just like so many people going on zoom at the same time and going on the phone calls and they used to do it like in a meeting room and stuff and now they don't anymore so i'm constantly hearing people speaking super loud on the phone or on the zoom and you know people don't have like the same schedule so they're constantly a lot of people talking loud because they have to they can't just just whisper so that's part of their job but i just wish that we're going back to having the traditional conference room where people have meetings instead of just like constantly in the background ah! okay so let's go uh the one with the black on it black. oh that looks good committed suicide he jumped out but he's he's a but he's alive now yeah he's still alive he's swimming they're not eating very good yeah, they're not yeah, eating the they're food. Look how big and fat that guy is, so. That Why white, the red and white one? To this red string. Yeah, those are pretty this good. This is the biggest one on the back. Cover girl too. Alright, hold on, hold on, let me look. Okay, turn it towards dad. Stop. Uh, yeah, is this the right angle? Oh, yeah, what the fuck? I didn't get the sword in the front. Yeah. Okay, hold on, keep going, keep going. A little more. Okay, right there. Wow. Grab a shuffle just to shuffle it in. Okay. Oh, what happened to this point? Oh, that's why we're bringing it outside. Oh. Maybe I think maybe it was like this thing is done. Power of Brendan. Ah! That's probably enough. You don't want all of them? That's better, right? It's currently almost seven o'clock. We just got home from my in-laws house and my husband is currently cleaning out the garage area and I think I'm going to stream on Twitch, play a little bit of games, rewind a little bit, hang out 
and call it a weekend. Yeah, so I do play games Friday, Sunday, and then maybe two of the weekdays just to rewind and also stream on Twitch. So if you are also a gamer, watch Twitch. Make sure you follow me on Twitch as well. So as you can tell, my weekend is actually really, really busy, like crazy busy. There is no time in between. It's like Bam, 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 bam. You have to do all of the groceries, you have to do all of the chores, you have to film all of the videos, get some workouts in, and teach and tutor on the same time, edit YouTube videos, upload YouTube videos, and everything. So there's so much going on on the weekend and Monday, the weekday rolls in. So definitely sometimes I do take a break during the weekend. Sometimes I have better upload schedule compared to the others because sometimes I just felt like I'm mentally drained or physically drained and occasionally I do need some time to just recover but overall I do think a lot of times it comes down to motivation. Even though I'm busy, I am enjoying what I do and that's all that matters. If you're enjoying what you do, you don't feel too tired. It's just you're physically tired, but you're also mentally very hyper. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps me out. It really makes my heart full every time you support me. And also subscribe to this channel, ring the notification bell, check out my other vlogs, morning routines, and other videos. And I will see you in my next video. That's my closet. Bye!